Hi, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be covering how to draw Baymax from Disney's Big Hero 6. I think he's one of the easiest characters to draw that I can think of, and one of the more fun ones too. So I'm going to walk you through, step by step, on just how to draw your own picture of Baymax. So get your pencils, papers, and markers ready. Alright, let's get started. So as normal, you can see I've wire meshed the character out just here really quickly. Um, again, it's just a, it's kind of acting as a reference. I'm going to kind of use that as an idea of what I'm going to draw in the final drawing. It's just something I like to do in every drawing. So without any further ado, we're going to start by drawing two circles, one balancing on top of the other. Okay, so just do that now. Again, don't be afraid of using small little gentle strokes like I do. I actually think it's very helpful to help me get the uh, figure out that I want. Uh, the bottom circle needs to be ever so slightly bigger than the circle above, and don't worry if they overlap a little bit, because that's fine. Just as long as one is on top of the other, and the bottom one is bigger than the top one. Not by much, just a little bit. Almost like a snowman so far. And I'm just going to draw a vertical line. Eh, that's not very central, but just somewhere down the middle. Again, it's going to act as my line of symmetry. It's something I like to do in the center of all the characters I draw, so I know which side is the left half and which side is the right half. So we're just going to join those up. So just draw along the sides, and we're just linking those two circles in together like that. So now we're already getting a fair idea of Baymax's body shape. If he's looking a bit too slim, um, you can just gently go over it again on the outside, just to bulk him out a little bit if he seems a bit too thin for you. But if, otherwise, if you're quite happy with it, leave it as is, and we'll go ahead and get his head drawn in. As you can see, I've just decided to to draw around the outside just a little bit. I'm going to raise away gently from the inside out just so he seems a bit thicker uh, than he was before because I wasn't really happy with that shape. It wasn't wide enough for me. So now that we're at the top, let's just draw the head in. So we're going to draw a more of an oblong shape. It's not quite a circle, his head. It's more of a um, like a squash down circle. Okay. So again, we're just working really roughly. We're just getting like kind of an idea of how things are going to look. So you can go ahead and just kind of erase away this line now where the head links to the body. Okay, and already you're beginning to see the shape of Baymax coming together. Um, if you've ended up with rather big shoulders like I have, he doesn't really have these. So again, get your eraser out. You can just kind of like rub that down gently and just try and craft that sort of outline, that sort of outside shape. Now I'm kind of happy with that now. I just had a little error on this side, but that's fine. Errors happen all the time. And you can draw another line of symmetry down the head if you want, because next, the next thing we're going to do is the eyes. So, so the eyes on Baymax are about in the middle, uh, in, in a uh, horizontal way. Um, so just draw two circles to symbolize where the eyes are going to be. And we're going to join them together by a line. Now the placement of that line is quite important, because um, you don't want to get it along the top, because that's quite frankly not where it is, but it's also not exactly at the bottom either. It's ever so slightly just above the bottom of the two circles, if you know what I mean. This would be the bottom of the circles, but it's not there. It's just a little bit higher. And then just colour in those eyes to make him look a little cuter. Okay, so just making those eyes black as they are. And again, just keep your eraser handy in case you want to rub out anything you don't want anymore. I mean, I don't really need that line of symmetry anymore. Uh, because the only facial features Baymax has are his eyes, and this line between his eyes, which I suppose maybe symbolizes his mouth. I don't, I don't really know what that line's for, actually, but uh, he has one. So, And uh, we can actually just draw in the little the little pad where he keeps his, um, his storage, his little data card in there. We'll just draw that in, just so that's done. It's just a simple circle on the left side of his chest, but our right, if we're looking at him. So, And now I can get rid of these guidelines which we drew in quite softly earlier because we don't really need them anymore um, I mean when we're drawing the legs you can feel a, you can leave a little notch there so that we know where the center of the legs is going to be but the rest of the guidelines we can really get rid of here okay so now the reason I got rid of the guidelines was to make sure that the body shape was looking how I kind of wanted it now this body shop is at, this body um, shape sorry is, is more accurate I think than this one this one well it looks correct the top part of Baymox Baymax's body is actually just a bit too thin 
um, I actually drew that a bit too thin, that should have been a bit thicker. So now that I've drawn it a bit thicker here, I'm actually more happy with that. So it's a good job I wireframed this, so I had a, like an idea of what I was going to draw later. It's okay to make mistakes at the stage, because we're not copying off this exactly. It's just a guideline of how we're going to draw the character's shape. So I'm going to draw his right, hour, his right arm and uh, the one we're seeing on his left. So it just curves down from this part of the chest here. Okay, just gentle strokes, just developing that shape. And the arm's quite long, and it curves in, and then it curves out quite dramatically. Okay, it is a bit of a funny shape, and it's probably going to take a couple of tries to get that right. But it's just, it's quite, I mean, I've actually drawn that too thin, so I'm just going to rub that back out and bring it out a little bit more. Okay, you can do this at home with your pencil and paper and your rubber. Um, just, it doesn't matter how long this takes you, because the arm is a really strange shape. Um, but just use a reference picture and um, don't be afraid of drawing things wrong the first, second, third time, etc. It doesn't really matter, just so long as the shape eventually ends up right. You can just kind of tickle away those lines until they, they look right for you. So you should end up with an arm shape roughly like this, with, with these sorts of curves. We're just going to draw a thumb in. The thumb is very small and it's very human shaped as well. It's just a small tablet shape like that. And then all we're going to be able to see from this angle is just one of his fingers. Maybe another one just behind it to show some dimension, but that's it. So you're going for that sort of look for the hand there. I'll just zoom in on that a little bit. So you can see we have a thumb here and just two fingers here. Is, is, is The last finger may not be visible here. It's up to you whether you draw it in. I can actually just get rid of that line there to clarify things and just thin that line a bit there. But it doesn't really have a, a hand the way people do. His arm just kind of connects into a bunch of fingers at the end. So if you if you get something like that, that looks good. And that's what we're going for. So, OK, just re return into my normal view. OK, so now we're going to draw the other arm. But the other arm's not going to look the same as this one. I'm going to draw it like this, so he's waving at us, this nice friendly wave that he has. So um, just like we did in the minion exercise, we're actually going to draw another potato shape just to the side of him. OK. It's almost like drawing another minion. OK, so just draw that arm in there. And roughly what we want in this situation is for the middle part of this arm to be roughly level with the panel where his card goes in. It doesn't have to be, but it um, that's where it roughly should be so that his arm's in the right place. But, you know, there's a little bit of wiggle room in these kind of things, so just as long as it's around there. Okay, I'm just going to draw his other shoulder in, and the rest of his arm disappears behind this, because this is opaque, we can't see through this. So, Okay, so just going to draw those fingers in, and again, he doesn't really have a hand, so to speak. It's just fingers coming out of the end of his arm. Okay, so he's all. You've got to think of him like the way he's built. He's all just one big balloon, isn't he? So um, everything's going to be very rounded and very looking, looking very inflatable. So that's the look you kind of want to achieve with your with your strokes here, with your pencil. Okay, so I'm quite happy with the fingers I've got here. Just going to raise lightly at those lines, so we can still see there's a separation line here, but it's not quite as thick as when I was doing my brush strokes. And again, it's all about those really soft strokes around the edges because I really think they help you shape the image. So the last part, and arguably the easiest part, is the legs. So we're just going to remember where we left this notch here, okay? So that's where the middle of the legs are going to be. Now Baymax, to my memory, keeps his legs fairly close together because that's just the shape of him. So we're going to draw a line there and that's going to act as the inside edge of both legs. And that means we can just draw down both of the legs quite symmetrically like this. Okay, almost like a plant pot, really, with a line down the middle. And we'll just join them in with an ever so slight curve. Again, we're just trying to make him look as inflatable and um, squishy as possible, because that's what he is. If you've seen the film, he's, he's all there <laughs> with some computer machinery in the center somewhere. Uh, so we, that's, what's, that's what we want to get across in our drawing, just little curve, very subtle curves here and there. And really, again, it doesn't really matter if you don't get it right in your first try. Um, you're probably not going to. I've, I've had a couple of practices at this, so I know how to draw it. And every, everyone needs practice. No one's going to get this right in the first try. So um, if you're struggling, don't worry. Just go back. Try again. Just keep trying until you get a drawing that you're happy with. Um, 
I mean, this sketch for me is almost finished. I'm actually going to go back and just readjust this belly a bit. So I'm going to use my eraser and just kind of, not much, I'm just going to get rid of the the outside edges here. But I'm going to leave a little bit so I know where I, I did draw them. So just erase very gently if you're doing the same as me. I'm only doing this because I'm not really happy with um, the width of his belly. I think it should be slightly wider as it is in this drawing. So while I didn't get the chest exactly right in this drawing, I think I did get the belly right. So I'm just going to kind of curve it out a bit more. Not much, just a little bit more. Okay, you've probably got this right. I don't, I don't know what your drawing looks like, but um, if you're doing the same as me, I'm, again, I'm just doing the nice little gentle light strokes around the outside. I might just draw a little line here to see, to show where the upper part of his arm joins with his forearm, just here, there, because it looks a bit empty there. And I'm actually quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that Baymax drawing altogether, so I'm going to call this a finished sketch. I'm going to ink it, and you guys can see the finished product in just a moment. Okay, here's the finished drawing of Baymax. I hope you guys enjoyed drawing Disney's squishiest hero. Uh, don't worry if it didn't quite turn out the way you hoped it might. Um, as with all things, drawing takes practice, so feel free to go back, repeat the tutorial, and try again until you get something you're happy with. Nobody gets this sort of thing right in the first try, so just keep at it and you'll definitely get there with time. Thanks for tuning in again guys, I hope you had fun. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll never miss another tutorial. See you next time!